All right, so this is your first time feeling the handbrake on the 599? Yeah. Oh. That was that. Make, make the Huracan feel like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me Why is the Huracan so let me sloppy? Let me hey? Why is, the, why is the Huracan feel so sloppy? Here's a little small mechanic. But I mean, it's also caliper sizing too, like piston. Yeah, that'll, that'll change the feel. Damn. Yeah. I've never heard anybody say 12 inches of an extension was little. <laughs> Here you go. Tim goes hard. Firmly grasp it. Okay. Firmly, Firmly grasp it. What? Oh, yeah. That's way better. Dude, the Huracan's like. <laughs> Um, Moves probably three quarters as far, like three times as far. Stiffer. And then when it sits, it has a longer pull in the Huracan. So that usually means there's air in the system. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that pushback, though. What's the pushback? Yeah. The, the pushback is real. Because it's uh, oh, on the brake pedals. Oh, so that's it's like inline master. you're pulling the, uh, and then you start left like foot braking. If you try and, like, foot brake and handbrake at the same time, yeah. Like, they kind of fight each other. Interesting. Oh, in the Huracan, they fully fight each other. Yeah, it's, it's like just you basically mind, can't yeah. hit them at the same time. But. All right, Tim, so you guys just bled the Huracan. Yeah, we just did a quick re-bleed. A little re-bleed? Yeah, there wasn't much air or anything in there. I think it's, like Mike said, it's just the master sizing versus um, the caliper size on this car. Like on the 599s, it's stiffer because the brakes are smaller. And the, the Huracan has bigger rear calipers. So, those who don't know. This car has this handbrake in here, this 50 setup, this pass through. What Mike's talking about. And so, like he was saying, this, that these brakes here versus that on these uh, 599s over here is a lot bigger. So, it requires a lot more pressure in order to actually lock up the rears, right, Tim? Yeah, so that's why it pulls further yep. to, in order to get, engage it. But that's mm -hmm. fine. I mean, that's why the superior method is to have, you know, independent handbrake. But, you know, that's just me. This could be the first car with three calipers in the rear, but four more. calipers. But Mike didn't. Whoa! What? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's crazy. <laughs> I'm also very dizzy right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh! Oh! You hear it cracking? <laughs> That's what happens when two thirty hits? It. By the way, I gained a few pounds back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It happens. I'm good at yo-yos. Yo-yo diets. What's the torque spec on here, Tim? 100. 100. 100. You know, you gotta, you gotta torque the same amount of foot pounds as, uh, I don't know where I was going with this. As something that's 100. That's <laughs> something that's 100. Why is it important to torque your wheels? Um, there's a lot of videos online of people, you know, initiating drifts and their wheels coming off. <laughs> so let's go ahead and not do that. You ever done it? Me? Yeah. Not drifting. Not? What do you mean? <laughs> not so it's happened to you, but not like on track? You had a wheel come off? Yeah. Holy crap. How scary is that? I was going slow. Really? What's slow? Uh, like 15 miles an hour. Okay, that's slow. Yeah. Which uh, wheel was it? Huh? Which wheel? Uh, left rear. Wow. Honda Civic EG. Did you see my Oh. Video? No. No, my, it's not that my wheel fell off. Actually, my wheel almost fell off once too. <laughs> that was a I different. Heard that, one. that was a different thing. Same car actually. I'm about <laughs> to tell the story about. Um, how about the time we were driving down the PCH and we were doing like 35 cruising, legit, and my suspension failed on the Carrera GT. Oh yeah pulled the whole car into the right lane and I almost hit the curb. Luckily, I smashed the brakes, came to a stop, and the whole passenger side rear was the wheel, the tire was sitting on the carbon wheel well. Was it good? Didn't wreck anything, and uh, but it was super scary. Like, I'm telling you, driving, and all of a sudden it was like, boom, like, lucky nobody was beside me, I would've hit somebody. Yeah. yeah. And it was crazy too, because I remember when that happened, you were like, you had called and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a common fail point on these cars. Yeah, and, then and you're know, like, how do you know that? And you, you haven't know. fixed it yet. There, there is no fix. There's there was no, fix. no, there was no fix. It was that's controversial. Silly. It was something that at the time I believe Porsche would didn't like honor or like acknowledge is yeah. the word I'm looking for. And then this last year they came out with a recall on, oh, on the suspension. Yeah. 
like all these years later. We're ahead of the curve. And you know, did you know Porsche paid the Walker family out an undisclosed settlement amount? Really? Mm -hmm. mm. So that's what happened. That is a fact from what I can find on the internet. Crazy, eh? And if it's on the internet, Steve, you know what that means? It's rough to believe it. All true. It is true. All true. Update on the sledgehammer situation. Oh, dang. Oh. Little update. It looks like some people don't want to have to go to court. So mm. they're uh, working on how to get out of it. I can't say anything. Mm. Flee Stay tuned for a main channel video. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I haven't signed anything yet, so that's all I can say right now. Yeah. But I might be able to say even less after I sign a thing. But let's just say I wouldn't sign anything unless... You can say it. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. That's even better. His fingertips are cold. Yeah. Was, I have itchy fingers. I don't know what I'm implying right now. What All right, guys. This? We got a package here. And apparently, it's some watches. So, Mr. Damon Fryer. Uh, Daily Driven Exotics. Yep. I have and no idea what this is. There's the, the watch box. Oh. And here's a letter oh. for... Mr. Coulter, here you go. Uh, I'm not Dave. Yeah, uh, I, can't, I can't read cursive either. Dave's not here. You both have white teeth. Well, this will be interesting. I have glasses at home that are not here. All right, hold on. Here we go. Let me get the right distance, first of all. Triangulate. Um, Hands. Yeah. Mr. Fryer, I present to you... I present to you... Uh, do you want I to take your vest off? Hold huh? on. I think it says, I present to you a custom made watch. Represent, representing, I think it says representing your SVJ. The watch, the watch, what's that say? Features. Features. Uh, What's that say? 2824. Movement. Um, custom SVJ gumball livery colors. And yellow 12 indicator representing the original Lamborghini yellow in the... What's that say? Um... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> in the... Yeah. Oh, does it say V-shape? Yeah, V-shape for V12. For the V12. Hope you like it. Like it. And like it's from... Does it say Jeffrey Duke? Uh, Doxy? What? D-O-X-S-E-E? -E? Doxy? I think so. Is it Jeffrey? Yeah, it's Jeffrey. Okay. Yes, it's Jeffrey. So, like, look, just so you guys he know. He lives I'm, on four. No, so, no. you guys know I'm not messing with you. Cover up his phone number. That's his writing. So, I just have a bit of a hard time with that. But, hey, I really appreciate you sending this. Thank you for watching the channel. This is really cool. We haven't done something like this for a long, long time. It used to be super OG when you were a vlogger. That you would get, like, some fan mail and open it up on camera. Kind of Casey Neistat style, which I really look up to that guy. You want to open yours Insane first? Insane storyteller. Here's it. the box. Um, we got more stuff on the box here. Uh, Mr. Damon Fryer. One of one. That's pretty cool. SVJ Gumbo Livery Custom Watch. And it's... What's it say? What's his watch company called? Distinction Custom Watches. Is that right? Tell me do you huh? need a uh, knife to open it? Uh, no, I think I get it in there. Okay. Distinction. So his Instagram is distinction underscore custom underscore watches. Okay. Let's see what this bad boy is all about. Better be a Rolex. It's a... <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, this is really cool. Sorry if I'm wrecking the box. Bro, what? I'll tell you this, behind the cardboard box, oh, 
you're good. <laughs> Don't worry about that box. That's crazy. I'm glad you didn't use a uh, knife then. Oh, cool. Look at this. You ready? Bam. Whoa. Sick. DD Custom. That's really cool. With the uh, the colors, like from Gumball. Yeah. yeah. On the strap. That's pretty sick, like a dive watch. That is super sick. It's pretty cool. It's cool it says DDE, like daily, like actually in the watch. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's sick. I appreciate should we, that. Uh, should we read Dave's Okay, note? Dave, can you read a letter? Yeah, what's Dave's? <clears throat> Dear Mr. Coulter. You gotta read it like Dave. Yeah. I don't know how to read it like So Dave. just skip, just... just skip it and open the watch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, dang. That's sick. Damn. Whoa. It's got gold flake in it. Let's see. Put that one Holy on. crap. <laughs> I knew I should have wrapped my card gold. <laughs> one for the setup. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching the channel. If I'm late for anything, your watch is off. I'm going to blame you. He gives you instructions on how to set it. No, no, no. I'm going to go with whatever time it is right now. <laughs> Dave is back. Dude, so, so. I got a package from Amazon. It's a gift receipt. But it doesn't say who it's from. And I opened it. I'll put it back in for you guys. So. That's actually hilarious. I took it the mic. Oh my gosh. It's annoying though when they... The manufacturer makes this. They don't give you a little thing. Oh, it's a USB? Oh. oh it's weird. a dirty game they play. It is. Hold on. We have to, we have to go the distance to the audience. How you guys been, Tim? Mark, good. Well. How about you? Pretty good, man. If I take too much time off, it, my brain gets out of the games too much. Mm. Yeah. I was going for like 10 days. It's way too much. It needs to be gone for like seven. Three That's my days. number. Yeah. That's a big difference, man. It, it is. It is. It is, Tim. Uh, You're pretty confident on camera, I see, Tim. I am. <laughs> <laughs> am I? <laughs> you had a hater the other day in the audience. was like, Tim needs to shut the fuck up. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Tim's the nicest guy. Don't hate Tim. Hate me. Hey. Oh. oh, shoot. That is sick. That is super sick. <laughs> so, whoever sent this. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. You need it. You need oil too. It was with that. How did none of us think, including myself, to check the oil when we go to a track day? <laughs> How's it not even like a people get mad and go, like, you guys don't respect blah 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 blah. Uh, the truth is we're just fucking busy. But what's this? Careful. Careful. Once you open it, you I can't already go opened back. It. Ha! That's a little watch. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, where are we going? Mr. President. <laughs> oh, it's it's Steven's that? birthday. The big 4 0. So, we're going to take Steven for something ultra delicious. What's your favorite food? Mexican food? All right. That's not going to be hard. Okay. <laughs> uh, 50 piece nuggets? Let's go. Oh. Oh. Damn. You want to get <laughs> Nikki Days? <laughs> Sounds like a new oh, no. <laughs> Dave's already oh. out. Oh, never mind. So do you want to go to uh, Tacos Guadalajara? Oh, That's right around the that? corner. Is it good? Uh, yeah, we got tacos yeah. from there before. Okay, let's go. The door follow? Tim, will you map us there? Yeah, where are we going? Tacos Guadalajara. I got you. We're going to Guadalajara? Yep. All right. It'll be a short drive. Right here? Yeah. Here? Yeah, this place? Right here. Look at all, we're getting robbed. Again. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. All right, Steve, what's the order? Oh, 
some tacos. Yeah, what what would you what, what kind of what kind of street meat are we getting? What are we getting? Tacos, Guano. This place looks dope. I didn't know this place was here. Yeah. It smells good. It smells really they good. They don't have running water, but they pass you on the savings, so not paying for water. Exactly. <laughs> We're in a drought. What'd you get, Tim? I think they're taquitos. Yeah. I hope. I, I think. I hope. All right, David, what's your order? Huh? What'd you order? I got a wet burrito. Nice. It's extra wet. Did you get some uh, I got green China? sauce. Oh, it's just the green sauce. And I got polo. There you go. I got not El Polo, just polo. There you go. The chicken here is less crazy. Horchata? <laughs> yes or no? Uh, horchata? You know how I feel about the horchata. No. <laughs> I'll save the horchata for the horse. <laughs> hey guys. My burrito is still coming. Oh, okay. So, can you do that? Great customers have cars there. All right. Lunch, brunch, dinner, dinner is done. So. I would like to let you guys know that Tacos Guadalajara is a place you should never come to. Okay, where are we going? Uh, Donut Queen. Donut Queen. Donut Queen. Where do you want me to turn? Left. Copy that. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, straight. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see how it's locked. <laughs> you see his face? <laughs> that, was, that was bad. He swerved at me, so I swerved at him. You a big donut guy, Steve? Not that big of a donut guy. <laughs> hey, it's, it's not your birthday anymore. I'm not gonna eat like five. I'm gonna have a couple. I'm gonna eat five. Cupcake shops in Compton, yeah, dude. There are. Well, they are in Long Beach. Huh? We're very close Compton. to that. There's cupcakes. There's, There's a cupcake place. Hey, cupcakes. Take cupcakes. We're one we, mile from the donut shop. Okay, you don't want to go to Dale's donuts? donuts? He doesn't yeah, like donuts. Go. I'm gonna go there. You don't want donuts? Yeah, let's go there. Are you too good for a donut? Yeah. Bounce with it, bounce with it, bounce with it. Actually, we're in Long Beach now because of the blue signs. No, oh, those are green. Oh, they're green again. <laughs> with a sign spin out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That bitch would tip over for sure. Make it right, make it right. <laughs> These people in the test are freaking out. <laughs> Let me get out quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? We got you. Oh, I have to. I can get the big one. Let's Let me do bash. It. It's your birthday. Hi. Can we get a bunch of donuts, please. What's up? Huh? We'll, we'll get. We'll get. We'll get a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> That's <not> funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get this one. The drug <coughs> one. Yeah, that one. What's, what's inside that? Okay, we'll get two of those. Yeah. How is it? A lot better than the Mexican food. There you <laughs> go. You just eat this every day. Compton donuts? Yeah. I got a box of donuts. There you go. I love that you love donuts. <laughs> yeah, you got your wish. You're welcome, Steven. Thank, thank you. We all want rolls. Oh, I'm sorry. Careful. You're pretty confident holding it like that. Oh, yeah. It's starting to rain because Damon's in town. Bro, don't even dealer. start. I hate, I hate the rain. What do you guys want? Birthday bite. You're gonna have anything Let's pass except around. Pass a one donut around. <laughs> no. We all have our own, Stephen. I'm just <laughs> this isn't a dealership. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets one bite. It's okay. One bite passing. Why is it so fucking huge? <laughs> Why do we get the biggest? Massive. What are we gonna do with all these? I don't know. No napkin. Nope. Really? Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> all right. Everybody has to eat the big one. That's the game we're playing. Oh, yeah. I gotta go break up this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we just slid the whole thing. <laughs> it's so slippery. There's so much rubber back there. It's crazy. They they come here at night. We've driven by once, and they street race right here at the yeah, back. Pretty wild. It is. It's totally wild. Look. It's all prepped. <laughs> like literally, this is like legit LA street racing. 
we've driven by once at night and they were setting it all up and I don't know who was here but they did their thing and we came back like 10 minutes later just to see if they were still here and they were gone they like get in get out smart <clears throat> Baby, come on, connect the dot, connect the dot. <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> when did the e-brake start, work, start working? <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> Years, that down, Steven. years of uh, abusing bands. <laughs> so here's the door handle. Yep. Right? That's a button. Oh, that's cool. It's on both sides. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So if you get out and just want to lock your car, you just push that button quickly and walk away. Right now, it's not doing it for some reason. I would imagine because something's open. Which is locked, right? That is weird. That's pretty sick. Hidden feature. I was like, I put it up in the air. I was like, what is that? I went to touch it and it honked at me. <laughs> what? So, did I tell you? I don't know. I got pulled over. Oh, well, they told me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I got pulled <laughs> over. I don't think I've gotten pulled over in at least 15 years. Like maybe, maybe even 20 years. And the reason that he pulled me over was like the dumbest thing ever. Like. Hang on, tracking. We gotta, I gotta get this call. Hello? So my mic's on the phone. I mean, I don't know if- Are you gonna like use the, the peel? The shipper well, maybe put so a- we're trying to get it set up. in there or something? They I can ask him. This, uh, but what, what I ordered yeah, from him, um, yeah, what I Fair ordered least, from him- Apparently, there's nothing in it, but- <laughs> Metal part. Just no, so, uh, Mike just got it installed. So we'll plug up the, the scanner right now. Yeah. And hopefully it connects and we're all good. We're gonna scan too. We can. I'll 3D print it. But we are not able to clear this. So, how, so basically, I can't. You guys can't just take the candy or whatever it is out of the box and send the part. Uh, give me a moment here. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, one moment. I need to check the uh, file. Uh, yeah, I think we can do that. Imagine your parts getting hung up because there's candy. Dude. So this is the intake manifold for the F12 oh, coming from Sweden and it's stuck and I can't figure out why it's stuck and they keep asking me, are there any food items in there? To, uh, and I'm like, I don't know, like maybe a put a piece of candy in it? I think they did uh, say they're sending like Swedish chocolate or something. Uh, I'm not able to do the arrangement for you. Uh, you need to uh, discuss uh, directly with Alexis Turner. Why don't yeah, I try and continue again with it's crazy. You. Some candy holding up your parts, man. Okay, got it. What kind of candy? I was thinking good stuff. Customs probably want to steal it like that. Dude, this is like, it's been hung up in customs for like a week. Really? And I've been, I keep trying to get a hold of them. And it's like a TNT shipment, but apparently once it gets here, it goes to FedEx and FedEx is like the broker here to deliver it. So it's stuck in customs. And there's a lady calling me from like Tennessee. And I couldn't understand what she's saying. So I finally figured out what the email was. The email there got nothing. I called, talked to somebody else went through this whole process telling him, no, there's no food in the box. It's a piece of metal. It's a machine piece of aluminum. And then nothing, like silence. Called another FedEx, they can't find it. I'm back on with like Tennessee, whatever. And now the person who's handling it isn't available. I'm trying to get her on the phone. Just like take the candy out and send me the box of <laughs> yeah. Send me what I want. I'll take the candy. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. So, guys, if you're shipping international, they need a clearance from the FDA to import oh my this. Gosh. Yeah. So that's why it's held in customs because there's like a piece of candy or something. Oh my gosh. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I'm kind of more excited for the candy than the intake. I know. I'm, I'm like, sorry, it must Sean, be the good. Candy, the candy's not coming. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Some we, dude in customs. We gotta get a free piece of candy. We gotta <laughs> save the candy. All right, arrows. 
Mm. That was a nice click. All right. So they sent me this, which I think is the license. Let's see oh. if that does anything. Michael, thank you for holding it. Okay, I'm not able to connect to Alexis. She's still not answering. So you want us to, you want to be partial abandonment for that one piece of candy, is it? Yeah, whatever like food items are in the box that shouldn't be in there. Yeah, we can just throw those away. Bananas, tree okay, glizzies. Uh, that one, I still need to get Alexis to call you and discuss. And based on my experience, it will take some time, okay? Okay. Um... If you ask me, I think uh, filling up the prior notice is much faster than doing this abandonment, but I will let Alexis know. Yeah, I don't know what the process is. I've never dealt with this before. Um, so, yeah, if you could let me it's know. Okay, I'll, um, I'll pass your contact number to uh, Alexis. I'll inform her that you want uh, to do this arrangement. I'll get her to call you back by 50 50 shot. Okay. I lose every time. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mr. Michael. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah, bye. So you got pulled over. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I got pulled over. Okay. Oh and this, no. This dude wrote me a ticket. Damn. So we're on the uh, so on the four hundred five heading to the twenty two. Nice. Right? And um, a lot of cops there. Lots of cops, right? But we're cruising. It's fine. It's like. 5 30 in the afternoon yep. traffic's kind of busy so i take the express lane i've got the express tag and all that cruising through the express lane and then we get onto the 22 and uh while we're driving i see there's a, a cop in front like there's a few cars in front of me just cruising like 70 72 miles an hour everybody's you know moving along then we get to the part where it turns back into a carpool lane where it says like the express is over so get out now i'm cruising in the regular lanes traffic's moving along and the CHP is like kind of blocked because there's a car in front of him and obviously this guy doesn't want to go any faster because there's a CHP behind him. So I'm in the left lane and I'm kind of here. So I move over one more lane to give this, you know, cop room if he needs to get out and move. I don't want to block him in. So I move over and then he slows down and pulls up and rolls behind me, flicks the lights on. Got your ass. And I'm like, dude, seriously? like. Out of all the cars that are around me, mm -hmm. he's gonna pull me over. All right, whatever. Pull over to the side, comes over to the, the door, and he's like, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, honestly, I have They're no idea. You're not supposed to ask that anymore either. Yeah. I'm supposed to tell you. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he said that. Maybe he's like, I pulled you okay. over. He's uh, like, I pulled you over um, because you don't have a front license plate on your car. Okay. And I was like, you pulled me over. You stopped me on the freeway. Traffic's going by us at 70 miles an hour. This is worth risking our life over. And we'll pull over on the side, on the shoulder, where semi trucks are blasting past us. Yeah. So you can write me a ticket because I don't have a front license plate. So he asked me for my license. He goes back to the car. He comes back like two minutes later. He's got a ticket. And I'm like, so as we were sitting here on the side of the road, I just counted 30 or 40 cars that passed by with no front license plate. Every single Tesla, every Rivian, every single like sports car, none of them had a front license plate. So I'm like, what's the deal? He's like, yeah, well, everybody needs to have a front license plate. So I don't know, I don't know if that dude pulled me over because he saw my hat and uh, he was angry that, uh, you know, angry with DDE. I don't know what the deal is. She but why did he pull me over? out of everybody else. And there was another car that was right next to me that didn't have a front plate yeah. either. And he picked me out of that lineup. So maybe he's a Forsberg fan. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, so now I have to um, make like a bracket or something because the, the Porsche doesn't have, oh, do you a, have spot a, uh, to mount a front license plate. I do have, yeah. You do one of those, I guess. Yeah, I also like, mine's a base Cayman, so it doesn't have the center radiator. So I was so thinking I could make a little window. Bracket. That's not legal. It has to be mounted to the front of the car. Oh, so if I have it, it's even if I have it, windshield. yeah, in <laughs> the windshield, it's still not legal. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I haven't had a front plate for years. Dude, right? Yeah. The only time I've gotten a front plate ticket before was when I lived in LA and it was like street parking everywhere, right? Yeah. And they would give you tickets for no front plate because you're parked on the street and the, the you know, meter got, reader guy is coming around to, to get parking tickets. I got a front plate ticket one time, but... He also gave me a lot of citations on that yeah. ticket. Dude, he, he threw the book at me like, no front plate, 
modified emissions, so state ref, like no seatbelt because I was wearing like Sparco harnesses. Oh man, like <laughs> car too low, like dude, he car. He, oh wow, he brought me up yeah. for everything. Yeah, the funny thing is, my car was supercharged, and he chose to like point at like the gauge on the fuel rail, like yeah. oh that's adjustable. I was like. Well, no, like actually the fuel pressure regulator is on the firewall, but yeah, it's, it's adjustable. Yeah. It's like all this other stuff under there, and he points out like the stupid gauge. I'm like, you really don't know what you're looking at. But oh, cool. Yeah. Just write me up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty annoying that cops are going around and doing that kind of stuff when there's actual like crime going on. Like there's giant takeovers and people are dying and getting run over and, you know, they're and what are they doing? They just stop and they're like, hey, everybody should leave now. But they don't, like, they're not going through like SWAT teams and arresting people. Maybe if they put some effort into doing that instead of, nah. No, Mike, we need your, giving us like, 300 <laughs> bucks. No, it's not even a fine. It's, it's a, a correctable ticket. ticket. Yeah. So yeah. I can put a plate on, go, now I have to go to the CHP, go to the courtroom. sign it off, yeah. send it, like, it's just a hassle yeah. is all it is. So, yeah, I wish I could just pay 100 bucks and just be like 200, 300, whatever, like, instead of having to go and do all this crap. <laughs> Complete waste of time. Yeah. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's bummed. <laughs> oh, Mike. Uh, all right, Tim. Let's see, let's see your, uh, you got your oh, plate. Oh, <laughs> check. He ain't down. That's oh, crazy. I was just checking to see if he's got his monitor on. Damn. Yeah, my anklet. So uh, are we scanning Tim right now? Or? 